Hello and welcome to Edit With These. I'm Andrea and today I will be showing you how you can quickly and easily make an audiogram in Descript. Want to follow along with me? Click the link down below and download Descript for free. It is an affiliate link and there's no extra cost to you. When Descript is open, drag and drop your audio onto the screen like this. Okay? And it will automatically transcribe your audio. All right, once your file has been transcribed, highlight the text that you want to use in your audiogram. So I'm gonna click here once. I'll go ahead and highlight it all the way to on their own. All right, once you've done that, right click and then duplicate to new composition. And you'll see here on the side, you can open your new composition here or you can go up to the top and notice that this part here that's checked is the original file. And if you go down to this one and click it, this is the clip that we just made. So I am going to rename the clip. I'll just call it sample audiogram. And then the next thing we need to do, we need to decide what size box we want. Right now it's landscape, but I want to change mine so that it's a square. There's also a portrait option. So it depends on where you're going to be putting this content. If it's going to be on Instagram or Facebook, you might want to use a square. And of course, YouTube will be a, a portrait. So just find out what the guidelines are for where you're going to be placing this audiogram. Okay, so I have my square. Now I need to get a picture. So let's go up here to media. And... And my content is going to be talking about homeschoolers and families reading books together. So I'm going to type in here, family reading a book together. And I think right now I'm going to choose this picture of the dad reading to his two young children. So I clicked it once. Now it's loading the media and our picture is there. Okay, so what we want to do is make sure that the picture is taking up the entire space for that square there. So I clicked inside the picture and go up here to position and you want to click fill canvas and see it got much bigger. So next we're going to grab that audiogram. We're going to come up here to the templates and audiograms and notice that there are different sizes for the audiograms. So we've got the portrait, but we've chosen the square so we can choose one of these four. There's also a landscape audiogram. This audiogram is, has a little cute blob in the middle. <laughs> and then we've got the waveform that's in the dark mode. This is the basic audiogram, um, but I'm going to choose this basic waveform audiogram. I like that. Click it once and it's applying the template. All right, so now we have our template here. I'm going to go up to the top here. This has the name of the file on it and I don't want that on there. This bottom part here is the actual waveform. And I'm going to move this box of text down here with the waveform and just going to position it so it's smaller. It's going to go over to both sides. That looks good. I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit more. Uh, first, I want to point out that we are in the text box. Okay, it says title. And I want to have it centered. So I'm going to click here, center. And I also like to have it, see, now it's aligned to the top of the box, but I want to bring it down a little bit so it's mid-aligned. I think that looks good there. You can change the size of the font. It's at 124 now. I'm going to bring it down to 90. One other thing you can do is you can change the color of the box. You see here, it's a blue box with white letters. You can change it to pretty much any color you want. Going down here, you can match it to the color of your brand. If you have the hex code, you click this circle here and it changes the color of the font. So right now it's white. I'll just change it to like a yellow color. I think that looks good. So you can play around with the items here in this box. So next I'll talk to you about this Descript logo. You can leave the logo there or you can put in your own logo or maybe just not have a logo there at all. 
But if you do want to put a logo in there, you can click the box and then these dots here, just go ahead and click those. And what you want to do is replace media. All right. And so my content, again, is talking about reading books as a family together. So I'm just going to type in the word book and we'll see what comes up here. Okay. There's a couple of cute kitties here. Let's see. I'll choose this one here. So just click it once and okay, there it is. I'm going to just make it a little bigger because I think it's a little too small and I think that looks good. Okay. So we'll leave that there. That's how you can put on a logo. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is put a little rectangle box behind our words so that our words can really pop. And so to get a rectangle, you want to come up here to the shapes and just click it, click rectangle. And we're just going to make it into the size and shape that we want it. Okay, and then we'll just bring it down here. What I like to do is put a little color on it and kind of make it match the color in the picture, or you can make it match the color of your brand. And so here, you just want to click this white dot where it says fill. And right here is where you would put your hex code in there. But I'm going to go ahead and use this dropper. And I think I want to match the color to the little boy's shirt. I like that color there. So we're just going to click there. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. All right, next, let's send our box back. So we're going to right click layer order and send backwards. All right, there it is. That looks pretty good. I am going to change the color here of the waveform. I'm just going to click and see how it changed. It says audio waveform. So I'm going to click here, blue circle, and I'm going to take the dropper again. And I'm going to use the color of the dad's shirt. One last thing, I like to have less words per line. So I'm going to change the lines a little bit. Just give me one moment. Okay, I'm back. So let's see what we've created. I'll play it now. Once I learned how to use storybooks as curriculum and learned how to combine my children's classes and teach them to learn together, all their work and reading was quicker and there was less overwhelm for all of us in our day-to-day -day homeschooling. With some structure in place, you will find, as I did, the children are capable of doing more of their work on their own. All right. Wasn't that easy? If you have found value in this video, please subscribe and click that bell so that you're notified when I post new videos. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you want me to do a particular tutorial, okay? And I'll see you in the next video.